Hello everyone, this is regarding the KYC changes which are effective from 1st April 2024. Uh, some important point which investors should be aware of so to make sure their investments in future or current investments are not stuck or there are no obstacles. First, investors should be aware what is their KYC status. Now there are multiple KYC status depending what are the documents we have submitted the time of doing KYC. If your KYC status is validated, that means you probably would have submitted Aadhaar as a document or you would have done an online KYC using your Aadhaar. With this validated status, you can invest in any MC and you need not need to do any further KYC unless there are any specific changes in your profile information. Second, if your KYC status is other than validated, which is verified or registered in this situation, you will probably have to do KYC modification if you want to invest in any AMC where you have not invested before. Now one good thing is if you have your KYC status verified or registered, you need not to do any modification if you want to continue investing in AMC where you have already invested. The modification requirement is only if you want to invest in any AMC where you have never invested. Now the best way suggested to make KYC modification or any new KYC is to do KYC online. You can do KYC online by visiting any of AMC's website or RTS website using your Aadhaar. Once you use your Aadhaar, a digital Aadhaar or an e-Aadhaar or m-Aadhaar or Aadhaar through digital locker, your KYC will get validated. Now, how do I check my KYC status? Where do I check my KYC status? How do I validate my KYC status? You can check your KYC status from any of the KRS website. I can immediately you know, share one KRS website's name www.cvlkra.com. You can go on this website, you can check your KYC status. In case your KYC status is appearing as verified, even though you have used Aadhaar, there is an immediate solution to that. You can go on the KYC validation tab, click on the tab, submit the required OTPs and upload your M Aadhaar, E Aadhaar or Aadhaar through digital locker. Your KYC status get, get, will get validated. So this is, I think uh, we all should immediately go check and do all this validation so that our investments are taken care of, our investments are not stuck due to any of KYC requirements. Uh, this is from me. Thank you very much and happy investing. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.